taking a step back, right? Because we talked about inspiration with just create, like why you created Legend. Um, and we touched on, you know, that. I wanted to ask you, like, what, when did you know that this path of art and animation was it for you? Um, maybe when I was in grade three. Yeah, I made my first animated movie in grade five. And it was a Dragon Ball movie, actually. And I, I remember thinking, like, like, how do they do it? Like, okay, so I'll just give you, like, a small backstory. Uh, the first Christmas present I ever got was from my sister's friend. My sister's older than me by maybe six or seven years. Uh, and her friend, who was kind of like a big brother to me, his name is Mark Sims. He, uh, one day I woke up and my sister's like, there's a present for you upstairs. You know, we're Muslim, we don't do like Christmas and that sort of stuff. Mm. And um, I'm like, what do you mean? And then I ran to the room and it was a Charizard. Oh, a chameleon, the, the second one. Char, uh, Charmeleon, yeah. Charmeleon. Uh, Pikachu and two boxes and the boxes were two VHS's and the first one was Explosion of Goku's Dragon Fist movie 13 and the other one was movie 12 Fusion I'm like what is this she's like it's Dragon Ball Z I'm like oh man this looks really sick because like the same friend and I'm, I'm really young at the time the same friend introduced me to anime Bao the Visitor the most ultra violent thing I've ever seen Giver. Like all these cool things, I'm like, man, is this what Japanese cartoons are like? And then she showed me Dragon Ball Z, I'm like, oh my god. And I watched these things god knows how many times. I still have one of the VHSs, actually. But, um, but that basically changed my life. So I wanted to make a Dragon Ball Z movie. So in grade 5, I remember what I did. I still have the frames, too. It's 180 drawings or so, maybe 187. And I remember I did this thing, like... I, without even knowing what the hyperbolic time chamber was because I'd never seen it before. i only seen these two movies. I used to lock myself in my room with the window and door closed just so it would heat up so I could like get the benefit of doing a whole day of drawing and then go eat something. And just to, when I would open the door and that fresh air that would come, there's no air conditioning in the house by the way, but that fresh air that would come, I felt like, oh, I, I, it's a reward. I finally, I earned what I was gonna do. And um, I had to figure out how to make the drawings not move and slide and stuff. So I, I took like paper binds and stuff. And so, and I didn't know about light tables. So like I was really just trying to make this look good. The movie is awful, but like at the time it made me the most popular kid at school. Cause I had, I, my f the same friend, Mark, he had a video camera cause he wanted to become a director and he is a director actually. And um, I'm like, Mark, can you bring your camera to our house? I found a turkey box. I think I can figure out a way to not make the frames move. He's like, yeah, so we had this turkey box that I placed the frames in and they would always be in the same corner because I thought like if they keep shifting around like the animation is not going to look good and then I was trying to figure out like how do I do like a pan or something because I didn't know what it was called either so we videotaped taped each frame for two seconds and then he had a color computer at the time so he put it all on his computer and he sped it all up and then we took music from Street Fighter EX we put it into the on top of it and that was my first movie and then I had a VHS of it this was my first movie I, I give it to my, all my friends at school. Everyone was passing it around the school, like, yeah, have you seen Nasser's movie yet? Have you seen it yet? And then my brother taped over it with Dawson's Creek. I'll never forgive him. Betrayed me that day. And, um, but the thing is, I still had the frame. So by the time I was in animation school, I just shot it again. I put the same music on it. I made sure the timing was all tacky and all awful just to recreate it. So I have a digital copy of that now. But, um, but yeah, so all back then, like in grade, in grade three, uh, I definitely fell in love with animation. Like, this is what I have to do. I didn't realize it was a job, though. You know, people just making pictures their whole life. I, that's someone's job. But then in grade five, I knew I wanted to be an animator. And then I went to university for something else. I finished my degree. And then all that, as I was there, I was thinking of like pursuing a master's. I, I said to myself, I always wanted to do animation as a profession. I finally started understanding what it was all about. So while I was there, I, I saved up the whole time. And I said, if I want to do a master's, I'll come back. Your degree doesn't disappear if you leave school. But I went into animation and then I never looked back. <laughs> so that was it. Wow. I hope you know. A lot of people are going to want to watch that today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll like, share that with people when they're ready. <laughs> dude. Thought, this movie was good. <laughs> Yo. They need to get Toyotaro out of there. I'm, I'm just saying. Okay. They, 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 they need to... 
They need to restructure this, uh, what they got going on over there at Toei. All right. And you know what? This reminds me. All hype aside, because, oh man, that got me pretty, pretty hype. Just to hear that young you. Yeah, you've been doing this shit your whole life. <laughs> you you made, wait, hold on. Wait, just, like, guys, can we just break this down for a second? Nasir literally made Legend off of them poorly doing Vegeta. As a third and fifth grader, he just decided, oh yeah, let me just make a fucking <laughs> animation. And it was the hottest shit in school. <laughs> Bro, I can only imagine what happened in that one. For that for that time. Yo, this here, wait a minute. Did you did you make Super Saiyan 3 by accident? Did you did, <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. No, no, we're good. <laughs> okay. Alright, I just had to make sure. But you know, uh Goku does turn Super Saiyan 3 in both those movies, so I had seen what it was. Okay. So, by the oh, time true, I actually true, got true, Dragon yeah. Ball Z, like I didn't understand why like it didn't look like those movies. But then I it kinda like cute and I'm like, oh that happens like way later. But then there are also movies, so like that sort of stuff you know that would be some great patreon content <laughs> yeah we'll see oh we'll see all right oh that's that good shit. <laughs>